Every brand struggles to remain relevant to retailers so that they don't get discontinued. Retailers want more sales and more shoppers. Do you know the best strategy to give retailers what they want and how to explode sales with your brand? In this video, I'll share insider secrets to help you get your products onto more store shelves and into the hands of more shoppers. At Brand Secrets and Strategies, you learn how to save valuable time and money where you learn strategies to get your products on more store shelves and into the hands of more shoppers, empowering brands and raising the bar. Thank you for watching. I'm Dan Lohman, here to help you save valuable time and money with simple strategies to grow sustainable sales and profits. I look forward to supporting you in your success, empowering brands, raising the bar. Market basket size is the most effective way to measure brands' true value. It's key to driving true loyalty and gaining a competitive advantage. Do you know the true value of your customer, your most valuable asset? Not their cost to acquire them, but their value to retailers? This is what retailers really want, the unique shopper your brand attracts. Grow sustainable sales with your market basket. Here are four points I want you to consider before we go any further. One, that top line sales ignore the value of your shopper. Shoppers almost never purchase only one item in a store. Natural brands attract the best shoppers. They don't settle. They choose quality products they can trust. They know the value of your products that they purchase, your brand. When they buy your products, they buy other quality products, making them more valuable to the retailer. This is what you should be paying attention to. Two, how can top line reports fail to highlight your brand's impact on the category? Savvy retailers already know how your brand's performing on their shelves. Sharing the same mundane report as your competition does nothing to differentiate your brand. Learn strategies to give retailers what they really want. Three, how to help retailers grow category profits with your brand. Natural brands contribute more to the category than their mainstream counterparts. It's easy for a brand with deep pockets to buy sales volume, but that usually pulls profits out of the category. Learn how to leverage your brand's health to gain preferential merchandising and promotional opportunities. Four, how to convert occasional customers into loyal evangelists. Give shoppers what they want. Make it easy for them to find it. Sounds simple, and it is. Traditional strategies overcomplicate the shopper journey. Let's fix this. Do these points resonate with you? If so, then you're in the right place. And let me know what kind of questions you would love to see me answer on this channel. These videos are about you and they're for you. Please share, subscribe, and smash the like bell so that you'll be the first to get new brand building content from me as soon as it goes live. These are just some of the points covered in my Strategies to Increase Market Basket Size and Sales mini course. This video series will teach you the skills that even the big brands overlook or ignore to help you stand out on a crowded shelf. Market Basket is the most effective way to measure a brand's true value. It's the key to driving true loyalty and gaining a competitive advantage. The harsh reality is that over 80% of natural brands fail within the first year. I'm committed to changing this. Level the playing field between you and the most sophisticated brands in your category so that you can compete head-to-head -head and toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. You will learn the strategies that you need to be able to grow sustainable sales and become a partner with your retailer to help both of you drive sales through the entire store across multiple categories. I'm committed to helping you become a category leader. A category leader is any brand willing and able to step up and help the retailer partner grow sustainable sales by leveraging the strength of your brand. The market basket is the sum total of dollars and the shopper's total purchase on a shopping trip. This is perhaps the most valuable metric for any brand. You're taught to pay attention to sales volume and your product ranking within the category, but that overlooks what really matters to the retailers. Small brands rarely have the sales velocity to justify being on any retailer shelf using traditional category print management principles. But it's these unique disruptive brands that are responsible for all the sustainable sales across every category. In fact, in the absence of those small brands, every category would be flat or declining across every channel. Understanding how to leverage this is critically important to your future. You should never try to compete on sales velocity alone. You're worth far more to the retailer than the ingredients in your product. The value of your brand to a retailer extends well beyond your products. When shoppers purchase your products, they purchase complementary products throughout the store. For example, if you're an organic brand, then your organic customer is more likely to buy organic produce, organic milk, organic dairy across other categories. Therefore, your customers are more valuable to the retailer than your mainstream counterparts. 
The true value of your brand is the customer who buys it, the customer that goes out of the way to choose your brand or the competition. Retailers generically don't make anything. What they sell is real estate that your brand occupies on their shelves. Savvy retailers want a couple of simple things, and if you can help them achieve this, then they're going to help you. Retailers want to know that if they put your product on their shelves, that they're going to see growth in the category. They want a reasonable profit, and they want growth in the category. Additionally, they want a competitive advantage in the market, and these are the strategies that you can use to help them accomplish this. Now here's the question of the day. Do you know the other items in your shopper's market basket when they purchase your brand? Let me know your thoughts below, and I'll see you in the next video.